Hello everyone, I'm Casey from iTab POS, and today we're going to take a look at some key point of sale features for pizzerias or restaurants that serve pizza. Let's dive in. I'm going to start the day by clocking in. Once I'm clocked in, I'm ready to start inputting orders. A table for tea just walked in, so I'm going to put them on table 4. Let's head on over to our pizza category and take a look at what we have. Here's my selection of pizzas. I have a build your own pizza option at the beginning, and the rest are specialty pizzas with the toppings all pre-selected. Let's build our own pizza first. The first thing we want to know is how big of a pizza. The serving sizes shown here are entirely customizable to your preferences. In this scenario, each serving size determines the base price of the pizza, and they are also tied to the price of the toppings. I'll explain this further in a little bit. I've selected a medium sized pizza, now it's time to pick the crust. I'll go with a traditional hand tossed crust. As for the pizza sauce, I'll go with a classic marinara. Now the fun part, our pizza toppings. Notice how we have a couple of options on the right labeled extra and light. These are called modifier prefixes. These are also customizable to your preferences and they can be assigned an additional upcharge based on the selection. I'm going to select pepperoni. The ticket shows that pepperoni is an additional $1.50 charge. Now watch what happens when I press extra. The modifier changed in description and price, where it used to say pepperoni now says extra pepperoni, and instead of $1.50, it's $3.50. The extra prefix serves as an upcharge function to compensate for the cost of adding more pepperoni than what's standard. Let's add some veggies to our pizza. I'm gonna go with mushrooms and olives. Let's go crazy and add some green peppers and onions too. Once I hit the done button, that completes our first pizza. For our next pizza, I'm going to show you how serving size affects the price of not only the menu item, but the modifiers as well. Recall I have three sizes, small, medium, and large. I'm going to go with large for now. Just going to quickly select a few modifiers here. Looks good. I'm going to go back to the size modifier group and change this pizza from a large over to a medium. Now watch what happens. The large pizza, which was originally $12, has been adjusted to $10 and in suit, the modifiers are also adjusted for the smaller serving size. This is because all the toppings have a tiered pricing structure relative to the serving size itself. This is a convenient feature in the event where a major modifier or serving size has to change, you don't have to go back and re-enter the whole thing again. Let's move on to another exciting feature called Pizza by the Slice. Pizza by the Slice is a feature exclusively designed to make it easy for your staff to customize a pizza by the slice or quadrant. I've went ahead and selected the crust and the sauce. We've arrived at our toppings now, and in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that there is a pizza graphic with it split up into four separate sections. This utility allows me to select one section of the pizza and add toppings to that particular one. Note that you can also split the pizza into half and half and not necessarily quarters. I've currently selected the bottom right corner of the pizza itself, which you can see is highlighted in the graphic. I'll add some ham to this quarter. In the bottom left quarter, I will add some sliced Italian sausage. As you can see, the ticket reflects where the topping should go on the pizza. In addition, the price of each topping has been automatically calculated. Imagine if you had to do this all manually. You'd have to take the price of the topping relative to the size of the pizza, then divide it by the portion you're adding it to. You'd have to do this for all the toppings, and then somehow indicate where those toppings belong. With iTab, everything can be done in a few clicks. The order is complete, so we can send the order to the right kitchen printer by pressing the order button at the bottom. The customer just handed me the total in cash, so I'm going to hit the payments button to take us to the payment screen. From here you could add gratuity, discounts, and select the type of payment the customer provided. From here I'm going to select the cash button, and we can see that the total on the bill has been satisfied. Once I hit the submit button, that takes us to our receipt screen. You'd then ask your customer how they'd like to receive their receipt, either by a text message, email, or a printed copy. And that's it. If you'd like to learn more about what our system can do, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel, and subscribe for more future content. Have a great day, everyone.